Hey guys, Quinn here. Welcome to the channel. Uh, for original content, you can always go to ValhallaOutfitter.com and the store is now open at shop.ValhallaOutfitter.com. This is just going to be a three minute rundown of my new Browning X-Bolt Pro Tungsten. I can get a little long winded, so I'm going to try to keep the comments short. Super lightweight rifle. This is in 6.5 PRC, 6.2 pounds out of the box. I have been playing with the action and it is very interesting. It's a little loose out of battery. I do have a Tika TX3 Super Light and while that action is um, maybe kind of sets the bar for slick action, I really love it. You can feel that it's smooth and when you're working this action quickly, it almost feels like it is not even there. Um, I would say it is as good as the Tika just slightly different in how it feels. It does have a fluted bolt, fluted sporter weight barrel, has a threaded uh, muzzle, comes with a muzzle brake. This model comes with a omnidirectional. Some other models come with the hog. You can get these on a pretty significant discount right now because the X-Bolt uh, 2 is coming out. So if you can get in one of these at a deep discount, I would strongly recommend you at least consider picking it up. The X-Bolt Pro Carbon does have a pick rail. This uh, model just has the standard swivel studs. Fit and finish is superb as you would expect from a flagship model from uh, Browning. Bolt catch release mechanism is on the other side of the um, ejection port, uh, similar to a Tico or Benelli Lupo. Tang safety, two position tang safety. One cool thing is the bolt locks when this thing is on safe and then there's a bolt release button up here that you can uh, push to unload the weapon while it is on safe. With the last bit of the three minutes, um, it does have a metal trigger guard which I like a lot. The trigger is pretty terrible out of the box. Um, it's advertised as being adjustable, which it is. My example with the set spring that hold, with the set screw that holds the sear spring in place removed so that would be the lightest it could possibly be it is very consistent but it is a consistent three pounds if you like a three pound trigger or up to a five pound trigger out of the box this thing is going to be ready to go that's not going to do it for me you can buy a timney trigger they're about 200 bucks no gunsmith required you can do it and you can pick one and a half two two and a half etc I went with the M Carbo spring. The spring is only about $13. Um, I could not remove the factory spring without disassembling the trigger. I went to my Smith, who I like a lot, who's really good. He couldn't get it out using M Carbo's instructional method either. Um, so I had him put it in, which cost me a few bucks, but that got me down to 1.8 to 2.2 pounds right in there right around two pounds is kind of where I wanted it um, But again, I couldn't get it any lighter. So each M carbo may be different uh, Slight variances in, in manufacturing tolerance. You might want to try a yo Dave spring But um, that was my only gripe out of the box this thing. I Gotta say it's just a bad bitch and it's ready to go. That's it. I tried to keep it short. I kept it to about four minutes. Highly recommended. Top flight manufacturing coming out of Browning. These have been made in Japan since 77. Not a single thing to complain about. The carbon fiber stock is excellent. Inflex recoil pad is going to do its job. We're going to the range today. We'll tell you how it shoots. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.